Hi, Kevin here. In this video, we will explore how you can use dynamic blocks in BricsCAD. So let's get to it. While it is not possible to create dynamic blocks in BricsCAD, it is possible to insert them, work with them, and change their geometric properties through the grips or the properties panel. To see this, we'll open an exercise file that features dynamic blocks. Let's zoom in on the blocks at the top of the screen. When you select one, you'll see grips appear just like any other CAD platform. Using these grips, you can adjust the measurements. Likewise, if you go to the properties of the block, you can see the details of those properties under the custom field. So, any of these properties can be changed just by typing in a value here. Dynamic blocks behave just like any other blocks in BricsCAD. However, the difference is that you cannot define them or create them but you can still use BricsCAD tools on them. So in the example of dynamic blocks, you can go to Copy Guided and pick around this dynamic block. Now that it's selected, you can use that to copy and paste it to different orientations of these lines of similar distance very easily and very quickly. So again, you can utilize any dynamic blocks that you may already have in BricsCAD. And you can use the productivity tools like Copy Guided and Move Guided on them as well. As you can see, there's a lot you can do with dynamic blocks within BricsCAD, including using the AutoCAD dynamic blocks. So go ahead and try it for yourself. Take advantage of the free 30-day trial and see what you think. If you have any questions, let us know. I'm Kevin. We'll catch you next time.